Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use Desmos to find a line of best fit for a series of random points or just data that you might have uh, collected for whatever reason. All right, so let's go ahead and sign into Desmos. It's a free account, as you know. And you see, when I signed in, I, I've already been here, so it actually brought me right to a page, but I've also actually saved a group of data that I want to show you and I've called it line of best fit go up here in the upper left hand corner which I think I need to sign in here let me just go ahead and sign in through here yeah there we go line of best fit quadratic so let me go ahead and bring that up open the graph and you'll see that um, I have a table of data here a table of random points and the way you can actually create one let, let's say you, you've done some research and you've got some information out there some ordered pairs just go up to where it says add item uh, click on table and when you when you do that you'll get this and just go ahead and fill in the ordered pairs okay and you'll see off to this side here the points have actually appeared let me just show you for example if I wanted to add in like another point let's say I wanted to add negative uh, four, and let's say I want to make it uh, I don't know, six. Might be a good number. Actually, let me just make it five so it shows up on the graph. You can see that it actually shows up, like right there. Okay, and I'm just going to get rid of this point because I want you to see how it works a little bit better. Now I've got the points here. Um, how do I get the line of best fit to show up? Well, I can see that I'm thinking that it's probably forming some kind of a parabola rather than a linear equation. It's probably some kind of a parabola versus, let's say, an exponential equation. So I'm going to guess by putting in an equation or a formula for a quadratic. And the way you do that is to put in y and then go ahead and put in sub 1. Now, what is? how do you do that? Just go down to this little table here. Let me just bring that down just a teeny bit. And this will switch you back and forth between the two different uh, um, keyboards. And look for the A sub B. And you'll be able to put in sub 1 here, okay? Just go ahead and type that in here. Um, the next thing you want to use, instead of the equal sign, is to scroll over and then put in this tilde, or an approximate sign, right? So Y sub 1 is equal to, and put in the standard form, for a quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so let me just go ahead and put that in. ax, now remember I need to put the sub 1. Now why do I have to put in sub 1? Well, if you look up at your table, it's going to be reading the x sub 1 and the y sub 1. So if you're not given this accurate information, it won't read those x's and y's. Okay, now I want to make this squared. So let me just flip back to here and then go ahead and hit the squared button. So now I have ax squared 1. Now that doesn't look too bad, right? It looks like it's fitting the uh, points pretty well. But I'm going to caution you. Make sure that you put in the b, x sub 1. And again, let's flip back between my two keyboards. Put in sub 1. And then finally plus c. And you'll see that it actually changed uh, it changed it a little bit. And I know that it changed it for the better because my R squared value is now 0.9921. And this R squared value actually tells you um, how well the information is fitting. So one would be perfect fit. And then 0.99 is obviously pretty great. Now let me just go ahead and get rid of the C. And you'll see that it went from 0.99 to 0.93. And let me get rid of the BX1. Let's say you were just tempted to use that. And you'll see it's down to 0.98, well, which actually isn't so bad, quite frankly. Um, but you want to put in the whole standard form here. Okay, so AX squared sub 1 plus BX sub 1 plus C. And it will give you the line of absolute best fit for your quadratic. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you.